Hello Leo, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel if you're new. Leo, this is going to be a general reading, so if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun, moon and rising for more clarity. Also Leo, my readings are timeless, so whenever you see this reading is when you were meant to receive it. So Leo, let's get into your energy. What do we have for Leo? Sun, moon, and rising. We have follow your dreams. Follow your dreams, Leo. We also have tears of joy and sadness. At the bottom we have fire magic. So I feel like, Leo, you're showing your magic at the moment. Um... You're shining bright like a diamond is what I'm hearing. Let's see. What else? What is going on for Leo? Your reality is a reflection of your inner world. And we also have surround yourself with your soul tribe. So you may be getting uh, pretty social at the moment you may may be hanging around your soul tribe you may be hanging around your people you know hanging out with family or friends but i feel like you're socializing or you should be give me a message for leo trickery so be careful for those tricky people and perseverance so spirit is letting you know to beware of the tricky people around you someone's being sneaky someone's got their energy to where they may be doing something leo but i feel like the spirit is letting you know to you know not give up stay in the game you know but be aware be aware of these people who may be doing sneaky or conniving things that you may or may not be aware of you know, be aware of these people. Keep your eyes open, Leo. Okay, let's look at the tarot. What do we have for Leo? Spirit, give me a message for Leo. What does Leo need to know at this time? What does Leo need to know at this time for Leo's greater good? What does Leo need to know? Sun, moon, and rising. See, we have the Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords. We have the Empress, okay. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Lovers. Wow, beautiful energy coming in for Leo. Um, Leo, I feel like, you know, I feel like you're really open to the situation. I feel like you know love may be coming in for you if this isn't love this is something that you're very passionate about this is something that you care very deeply about and i feel like you're really going through this phase where you're uh, really taking time out to rest find your solitude find your solace you know um, because you're very attractive you're very abundant you may be manifesting something very important in, in your life i feel like you're you're just this beautiful soul leo and i feel like other people see that in you because you have the ten of cups so i feel like a lot of happiness a lot of joy is coming in for you as well as love if you're not connected with someone i feel like love is 
very, very much in your cards this this time. Um, I feel like new love may be coming in. If this isn't new love, this is you connecting on a deeper level with someone that you're already connected with. You know, and I feel like you're taking a lot of time to really take care of yourself. Show yourself that self-love that you most definitely needed to do. You know, I feel like you're taking time out for yourself. And it shows because you have the Empress as your current energy. So I feel like you're like the focus. You're focusing on self, Leo. And you're beautiful. You're very attractive. And people may be drawn to you because of this. You know? I feel like you're really standing out in a crowd. People are noticing you. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords. So definitely some fiery energy coming through. This is new ideas, new um, thoughts that are coming through. You may be changing your beliefs. You have the Ace of Cups right over the Ace of Swords. So I feel like not only are you thinking about love, but you're also changing the way you think about love you know you're you're like starting over in this situation you may be starting over with a new person yeah you have the page of swords so some kind of clarity has come to you you know i feel like a lot of truth has been shown to you this is also you becoming very curious you're curious about maybe this person, maybe this love. You you have a curiosity that you're showing. You also may be reading self-help books, how to love yourself, you know, how to show yourself that unconditional love because I feel like you are I feel like people are watching you. People are looking you. They're taking notice, you know? People are trying to see what you do next. What do we have for Leo? The Seven of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like with this Empress and the Seven of Cups, I feel like a lot of opportunities are opening up for you. I feel like because you are doing whatever it is that you're doing, you have many choices. I feel like you, you're you just... You have love coming in, but I feel like you may not want to commit to one person at the moment. You may want to test your options. You may want to see what's out there. <laughs> wow. Okay. Tell me more for Leo. Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands. So we have Ten, Ten. So wow. So that may be very important for you. I feel like you're carrying, I feel like you're being very busy, Leo. And not only are you busy, but I feel like you're kind of taking in a lot of activities. You're being very active at the moment. And I feel like you're doing it well because I feel like you're carrying whatever it is you're carrying very anxiously. You know, you're you're like not missing a beat, you know. Um, we have the hangman. So I feel like you're not sacrificing your time. You're not sacrificing any of... your priorities you're setting your priorities mainly on yourself Leo you're putting yourself first we have the page of Pentacles at the bottom 
So I definitely feel like you're putting yourself first. This may also be you, Leo, um, getting an offer to do something. This may have to do with money. This may have to do with the job. But I feel like this is news coming in that is going to make you very happy. Definitely. Yeah, we have the King of Swords. So you you definitely you definitely feel very strongly about what you're doing. I feel like you're moving into this situation to where you are taking the lead, Leo. I feel like you're not letting anybody else lead you to any situation. You're like taking the lead in this situation. And I feel like you're not taking no for an answer in something. You're kind of being very persistent, very outgoing. Okay, let's clarify these cards. Spirit, tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups situation for Leo. Tell me about this. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, whatever this Ace of Cups is, whatever this new beginning is in love, I feel like you're very passionate. This is something that's coming through as very free-spirited, very very I want to say lusty I feel like you may be following with your eyes and not just your heart Leo because whatever this is coming in I feel like they find you very attractive you find them very attractive and I feel like there's a strong strong sexual chemistry here But I feel like this person wants to move very fast. This may be you taking action. We have the Ten of Wands again with the um, Four of Swords. So yeah, I feel like you're going to be taking action. You're not going to let any time waste on this situation, Leo. I, I feel like you're laying everything down in order to pursue whatever this is. You're, you're going from taking time for yourself to putting yourself on a back burner to give all of your energy to the situation. To give all of your energy to this person. What is this Empress card? Tell me more about this Empress. I feel like you may be pursuing them. Actually, Leo, we have with the Empress, we have the pay, excuse me, the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like this person, um, not only is this person attractive, beautiful, this person may also be wealthy because we have the Queen of Pentacles as well. So I feel like this person is very uh, resourceful. They know how to use what they got in order to gain what they want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like this person is very grounded. Um, they may also be very practical. But I feel like along with this beauty, this person may have abundance. This person may have a very good job. This could be you or this could be someone coming through for you, Leo. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. The King of Pentacles. So you have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles right next to each other. And the King of Pentacles is on top of the Ten of Cups. So I feel like this King, this King is coming in to, you know, to steal the day. He's coming in very practical, very wise. It's definitely someone who's bringing abundance with them. Someone is bringing a lot of abundance. And you have counterparts here. So I feel like... You know, although these are the two most wise, most practical, most abundant of the kings and queens, 
this is also someone who moves at their own pace. They kind of do things at their own time. They make their own way, you know. Tell me about this lover's card. Tell me about the lover's spirit. Tell me about the lover's. The eight of cups. Yeah, so I feel like with the lover's card and the eight of cups, I feel like this person who's coming through they're moving into this new direction and I feel like they may be just leaving a situation um, they may be just moving to this location they may be new in town they have may have just moved because I feel like this person has left something behind, but they're like physically moving. What is this Ace of Swords spirit? Tell me more about this Ace of Swords energy. The hangman. Yeah, so I feel like this person, this person may be very intelligent. This is either you or this person, Leo. This person is very intelligent. I feel like they take time to sacrifice what they need to sacrifice, but also look at a di different perspective if they need to. I feel like they notice the things that are going on, you know. This person is very honest. And I feel like they can look at things from different points of view. You know, it, I feel like, you know, when you're speaking with this person, maybe you're talking about one subject, but they kind of move to another subject because they kind of hear what you're saying and kind of follow with your direction. You know, I feel like this person can change direction in their conversation. They're very intellectual. They know how to communicate very well. Tell me about this page of swords. Tell me about this page of swords, spirits. Tell me about this page of swords. Yeah, with this page of swords, with this curiosity, with this news is coming through, whatever this is, whatever news you're getting from this person, whatever they're telling you is making you very happy. It's making you very joyful. I feel like this person is kind of got you you know the, like that movie when they say you know you had me a hello <laughs> that's what I'm feeling with the situation I feel like this person has like got you your full intention your full attention because I feel like the chemistry between you and this person is so deep so sexual so intense that you're like looking into this person's eyes and just almost drowning them you know tell me about the seven of cups what is the seven of cups the death card okay so yeah i feel like with this person i feel like the opportunities that you were thinking about taking you're changing your mind you're setting your mind you're setting your sights on this person or they're setting their sights on you. But either way it goes, Leo, I feel like someone has stopped searching. You know, they've kind of come to a complete end. Their searching is over. So this may be the one. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, Spirits. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. The Seven of Wands. With the Ten of Wands, you have the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like where the Ten of Wands is a completion. The Seven of Wands is like protection of a completion. 
it's like going through the battle and I feel like you're battling with yourself you're trying to restrain yourself from this person Leo you're trying to hold back but I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it I feel like with this situation, I feel like there's almost no holding back because I feel like your emotions, your passion is going to take control of this situation. It's going to take control of this situation and you're going to be led by this because it's going to be so happy, so joyful. It's with the lover's card, the ten of cups, the sun. Wow. Wow. Yeah, th this is going to put you over the top. Kind of happy, Leo. What is this hangman? Tell me about this hangman spirit. What is this hangman? Yeah, the eight of, eight of wands. So you're moving from the seven of wands to the eight of wands. So this is progressing. This, this is going to progress very quickly. You also have the King of Cups on the bottom. So this is definitely progressing into something more emotional, something more deeper, very quickly. And I feel like this person is sending you some some kind of communication that's going to make you very happy. Um, this person's words are kind of going to take you over the top. I feel like their words are like making you very emotional, making you kind of feel very deeply you have the emperor on the on underneath as well so yeah i feel like this person has control over the situation wow we have the knight of pentacles as well yeah so definitely something something is coming through i feel like this person is really putting in some work to um kind of get your attention hold your attention and just make you feel very passionate okay you know what i need some more of a message spirit if this is love tell me about this person tell me what this person's intentions are tell me about this person coming in for leo spirit the mask not showing true feelings hide personify pretend delude gaslighting okay so <laughs> You feel like this person is wearing a mask. They may not be doing exactly what they're saying. They may not be as real as what you think they are. See, but we also have Twin Flame. So, this may be your Twin Flame, Leo. Although you may think that this person may be putting on a show. This may be your Twin Flame. This may this fire that you feel with this person may be real. You may need more information. See, we also have healthy choices on the bottom. Making healthy choices in love, in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. So, yeah, I mean, you definitely may have to look at the situation with open eyes. But I feel like this situation is very, very intense. And I feel like it's growing very strong. The, this relationship is going to be really progressing. And it may have come out of nowhere. But I feel like it's going somewhere, you know. Okay, we have adversity. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah, so I feel like you're up for taking the challenge. You're definitely up for this challenge. You're, you're willing to put in the work. And we have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Okay. Okay, at the bottom we have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. Okay. All right, Leo. Let's take a few more cards. What advice do we have for Leo? What advice do we have for Leo spirits? 
we have care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved and offer a helping hand. So, yeah, this person may be asking for some kind of help or someone around you. Or you may be asking this person for some kind of help. We also have soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. So, yeah, I feel like it's becoming clear. Okay, Spirit, give me more messages for Leo. What does Leo need to know? Give me more messages for Leo. We have Earth School, Life Lessons, Soul Growth study higher learning so you may you may actually meet this person in school you may meet this person while they're studying they may be in school um, trust the timing trust the wave you came in on time is not running out so definitely you have time in your situation you're able to take it slow you're able to go at your own pace um, you know, move at a pace that's practical for you, Leo. Okay, this is the time when we ask a question. So if you would like to ask a question, Leo, go ahead and pause the video if you don't have a question ready. And we will ask a question. So what do we have for Leo, Spirit? What answers do we have for Leo at the moment? within the next few weeks. So you may meet this person within the next few weeks. This person will come into your life or this will evolve in the next few weeks. And we also have wait. At the bottom we have not the right time. So, you know, it could have been you may have met this person in the past but it wasn't the right time so you had to wait. Um, our spirit is letting you know to Really take your time with the situation. See things through. Uh, really get a handle on your feelings. Don't just jump into a one night stand with this person. Control your, you know, your, your emotions. Even though you may feel a lot of chemistry with this person. I'm going to take one more just in case. Peaceful resolution. Yeah. And we have no need to worry. So definitely, I feel like whatever this is, it's going to work out for your greatest good, Leo. And I feel like it's going to make you very happy, very abundant, very uh, nourished with this person. If this is a person, this could be something else. But in the, in the comment section, let me know if this resonates with you. Tell me exactly what this situation is. Okay, Leo, this is your reading. If this resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And until the next reading, Leo, many blessings to you. Love and light.